Afghan is being remade in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. What's up guys, T-Mart here, and today they revealed DLC 1 for the game. It's called Sabotage, it's coming out on January 31st, and as always, it's gonna come with four new multiplayer maps as well as a brand new Zombies experience. And uh, based on the trailer we've seen so far, Honestly, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. So, um, one of the maps that's coming is Dominion, and that's the remake of Afghan from Modern Warfare 2. Afghan was a super, super, super solid map. I liked it a lot. It wasn't necessarily my favorite, but I thought it was a very, very good one, and I'm excited to see it come back in Infinite Warfare. So, instead of taking place out in the desert in the Middle East, it now takes place on Mars, so it's still going to look pretty much the same. It's still going to be a bunch of brown sand out there. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays because in Modern Warfare 2, Afghan was a super, super open map. Like lots of long lines of sight, not really too much in terms of close quarters combat unless you're in the cave or something like that. And I'm just interested to see how that's going to work in IW because obviously IW, it favors that interior bunch of wall style of play to use wall running and stuff like that and the thrust jumps and whatever else. But um, you didn't really have a lot of that on Afghan. So I'm going to be interested to see what they do about that and how it's going to play. I think it'll play really, really well with Tactical TDM if that's still around by the time that map comes out. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Now, the other three maps we're getting, uh, Noir is going to be a dark, grimy Brooklyn of the future. So it's going to be based in an urban city. It's in New York City. And uh, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Probably a bunch of like little, you know, close quarters combat, close lines of sight, stuff like that. And uh, probably very, very happening. There's another one called Renaissance, which sounds like it's going to be about the same thing as well. It takes place in Venice. And um, they said that it's going to be super tight, close quarters, and quick combat. And then you do have some like sniper lines of sight uh, in the middle. So uh, those two are going to be pretty interesting. Sounds like it's going to be a, a lot of in-your-face action. And then finally, we have the ringer of the group. The one that's a little bit different, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. So it's going to be called Neon. And this is a virtual training simulator for urban warfare. So basically, you're fighting in a simulator. And what that means is when players die, they disintegrate, which is fine. That's not that bad. But, um, like, they were saying that cars generate out of thin air and, and stuff like that. And I don't know, like, it sounds like that could be kind of cool, but it also sounds like that could be really, really annoying. Like, say you're pushing up on a person, and then all of a sudden a car generates and they have a head glitch they can shoot you from or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, it, it sounds like it's going to be a little bit weird. Hopefully it's good. We'll have to wait and see. But um, it's definitely the, the unique one out of the group. And uh, then finally, last but not least, for you Zombies fans out there, it looks like the new Zombies experience is going to be pretty intense. So it's called A Rave in the Redwoods. And uh, the story behind it is it's this location out in the middle of the woods. There's like this creepy log cabin and, you know, camps and trailers surrounding it. And apparently a bunch of people were using it as a rave site for an all-night rave. And then obviously something went down. There's a new kind of like special enemy called the slasher who looks like he's some sort of like Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers that kind of like chases you through the woods and stuff like that it looks super intimidating and uh, I mean it just it looks creepy like Spaceland was this huge bright open lanes neon lights all over the place like really kind of made you feel good and safe Redwoods is a complete opposite. You're no longer in a theme park, you are out in the middle of this creepy section of the woods, which uh, sounds pretty intense. And then also they say that sometimes the map will come alive. I'm not sure if it's when you turn the power on or if it's on certain rounds or what, but um, you know, all the like rave lights and neon paint and all that stuff kind of comes to life and brightens the map up a little bit. So it's gonna be very contrasting there with the dark creepiness and then the rave bright neon. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but it definitely looks pretty interesting. So uh, there you guys have it. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Afghan, I'm stoked to play. The Rave in the Redwoods looks pretty good. The other maps, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But it looks like it's going to be a decent DLC. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.